we are almost done with this week. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. And guess what? As I promised yesterday, I have my BFF, Carrie Sparks, on. Let's just let's go ahead and bring her on to the show. Cheers, Carrie. Cheers. We're using fancy. Can What's I up? cheers? Ching. ching Can you do ching, it? Yeah. Ching, ching. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Let's be stupid. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. There we go. In each corner. Like I'm blessing the corner of the damn Facebook screen. Uh, so all of y'all, we are using a new technology called Be Live so that I could have a guest on the show today. So pardon any technical difficulties if they're not yes. working out. Robert is saying hi, though. Oh. So hi, I'm Robert. Saying, yeah. Robert lives here in the neighborhood. And um, so anyway, Carrie has been in quarantine for as long as we have. Actually, no, I guess you started the same time as we did. So we went on spring yeah. break, and came back and went into quarantine. You worked through that week and then went into quarantine. Yep. But we had very, very different like living styles. You are jubilantly single. <laughs> I am trapped with three other oxygen breathing organisms plus the dogs. And um, we're in a very large home on a green belt and all of that. You were in a high rise. So you were actually probably more similar to people living in the New York experience than most of us are. So tell us about that. My mom is on, by the way, that's Cheryl Carson is my mother. Oh, so my hi, Cooper's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see if I was by myself in a house or an apartment, it might be a little more isolating, but being in a high rise, I mean, I guess I'm quarantined, but can I really say I'm quarantined because I have to take an elevator, you know, and take my dog out. I've got me and my four pound min pin. Yeah. Um, and as Cooper knows, he gives me shit about it, but, um, I am quote unquote quarantining with my friend, Pam. She lives, I live on the 15th floor. And she lives on the 10th, but we have been the only people around each other mm -hmm. for this whole time. So we've made it through the three week That's mark. Good. Neither of us are sick. And so we're both not getting out or doing things like once a week on Fridays is our end of week treat. We're ordering from a local restaurant. Well, by the Friday. way, also, sidebar, your building has every old ass person in Dallas living yeah. in it also. So yeah. that's got to so, be terrifying that you are going to be the one that that kills off half of your Turtle Creek high rise. Yeah. The gays and the grays. That's what they call this building. The gays <laughs> and the grays. Um, and what's crazy is we have a lot of old people. Like sometimes I think it's an old folks home. And what's even nuts is the first week of the quarantine, we had two dudes die like non-related to, to COVID both of old age died in their, their units and everyone lost their ever loving minds because all the old people, the assholes suddenly puckered up like, Oh God, it's our time. <laughs> And we're like, calm down. One died in front of the TV. The other died in his bathroom, for God's sakes. I mean, you know, the they've lost their damn mind. And also, and they I'm, were 98 board, or 97 so. years old. So. Oh, I know. Yeah, they were. Like, one was 94, and the other guy was in his 80s. Oh, and both, both had lived here for, like, 30 years. I was like, their time had come. Yeah. Calm the F down. Every so, time I go to your building, it's like little old ladies done up to the nine sitting in the lobby mm -hmm. to check the mail. <laughs> I could, to oh, yeah. The hot UPS guy has shown up yet. Exactly. So there's this two crowds. There's the the ones that are still getting themselves all dressed up every day. And like the first week, every time I would go down to the garage or go down by the mail, you know, they they'd be going somewhere. And I'm like, where the hell are you going? You're like the target group that needs to sit your ass home. Oh no. I'm like, you're not going to church. You're not going to get your hair done. Where are you going? Like, well, we, we survived got... the war of 1912. We could yeah. survive this. And then we've got the old crotchety group that just sits down there and waits on the mailman. So they were so gripey that, and they were so concerned about their mail that we had to take the goddamn mail door hinges, the, the door off the hinges because they didn't want to touch the door because God forbid they check their mail 500 times a day. And that poor mailman, if he's not here on time, they are sitting out there in a row waiting on the mail. Cooper, if I ever become the kind of person, I don't think so in our day and age, because I think by the time we're that age, there's not going to be mail. But no. if I'm ever that person talking about the weather and, and where my mail is, Christ Almighty, just put me away right then, because there's no reason to live. No reason to live. <laughs> oh, my, see, my grandmother is the opposite. My grandmother lives in an independent living community. It's a really nice like in Alamo Heights in San Antonio and like the um, 
it is like a super high end, like SMU dorm for oh, old nice. people. And they have like dancing and stuff. But my grandmother will talk about, she, they, so they will sit around in happy hour and they will talk shit at full voice about each other because they're all fucking deaf and have hearing <laughs> aids. And she's like, don't go near that woman. She's the worst. And I'm like, the one sitting next to me? Like, that woman didn't hear it either. Like, it's just, it is so, like, I'm okay with being that person. I have Anson. The amount of sex that happens in that place. Oh, too. oh my! Oh my! Goodness. Like in Florida, wasn't there a city with like the highest outbreak? STD. Um, STD. <laughs> like, like some old ass. That's me. That's like, me when I get that age. They're bringing back some old STDs too. It's not the new <laughs> stuff. It's like it's like they're dusting off the shit from the seventies. <laughs> they just rolled right into twenty twenty with that shit. <laughs> exactly. And like I've had it the whole time. It's just syphilis. It's fine. <laughs> I just I, I was just I, I had Gertrude, but now that Gertrude's gone, I gotta pass it off. That's gonna be me, the hoe in the assisted living. I, I strive to be that. In my, my I think single. a lot of them are. I think a lot of them are. Well, in my single yeah. girl status, so that's one of the things too. As a single girl, I mean, I date, but and I'm dating someone currently. But you know, when you live by yourself and you're a single girl, you've got that single girl slut list. So mm -hmm. like, there's a whole list of things that I can't be getting done right now, like my roots and my dip nails and my coochie wax. And I was like, well, I guess it doesn't goddamn matter because I got nobody to, I'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit. So I sure as shit, I'm not gonna hit up any of these dudes I normally been talking to. I'm like, no, your ass stays home. This is not ready anyway. And I don't have to worry about it. So I'm just going to become a hermit and stay home and play grocery lottery. And that's the highlight of my day. Oh, speaking of, I mean, my God, you and I both have talked about that three <sighs> times today about I feel like getting an old grocery delivery right now. I mean, I feel the, like an old person with the, the mail. Exactly. I mean, these problems that we have, though, I mean, they're first world for sure. But like you called me, you're like, get on Amazon right now. They have delivery <laughs> slots available. And I tried to and they still had two. And then it's like, but one of the items in your cart is not available. You need to take it out. So I went and took it out. By the time I got yeah. back, it was taken. <sighs> yeah. Now, I feel like there's like a room of little developers, like Jeff Bezos, those little minions. <laughs> and they're like little puppeteers. And they're like, dance, pretty no. dance. Because you're like, fuck, there's a window. And Pimply you try to get your groceries ordered and then poof. Give me ass, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there's no longer a window i'm like damn it every night like when i try to order groceries i've got like four or five apps up like the sam's app amazon fresh tom thumb favor and i got all these things lined up and it's like bingo and i'm like stamping the damn apps like well do you have bananas no how about you okay you're can going, i get you're... something here and then i'm like bingo and an order actually goes you're through gonna actually end up accidentally end up with 73 pounds of sugar yes. this is what's gonna happen because you got all these lists going and you don't know wh where you're supposed to be getting it from what. Yeah. By the way, a number of people are saying they noticed my new nail polish. So, yes. Oh, I yeah. Over it, today. I mean, it, actually, it looks better on camera than it does in person. I am the. I was telling Carrie earlier, one of the blessings and curses of having magnificently deep and long nail beds is that to get down into the whole nail, you got to make a big old mess. Um, and then I just wait for it to kind of dry and then I scrub it off. But I decided to move up. The other ones had grown out a little bit more than I wanted. And so I switched over to like a tealish color. I can't remember what it's called. It's also still from Now Nail Polish. NowNailPolish.com. It's your friend, right? Yeah, my friend Jeff. He yeah. does the, the No Hate campaign where they've got the tape across their mouths and no hate on the thing. He is the inventor of that campaign. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. So I thought for Easter, so I'm wearing a pink shirt. And I'm actually wearing blue shorts. I don't know if you can see it. I look like a fucking Easter egg right now. And then teal nails. So I'm wearing a black I'm sweatshirt, black leggings, black mm. sports bra every day. <laughs> I am ready for linen. I am ready for, and it's hot as shit in Dallas right now. It's 95 degrees. I think it tomorrow we have a cold front blowing in though. Yes. The, and this is what old people talk about too. You know, that cold front's blowing in tomorrow, Carrie. Fuck, we've talked about weather and the fact that we can't get groceries. We, yeah. We're old. <laughs> We're old now. Fine. Cheers. Ching. 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 Hey, I see Monica's on. She was asking about your nails. Mm. Also, I like Robert's comment. Do you see the irony in Cooped Up Live taking place while you're actually cooped up? Uh -huh. Well, so many people have said that they're like, this is your moment. It's your moment. And I was like, oh, fuck, I guess it is. Man, now I got to actually do something with this. <laughs> got to uh, seize the day. Oh, okay. Sandy Graham. Oh, hi, Carrie. Been following yeah. your blog for a couple of years. Oh, my God. Thank you. I do recognize your name. I think I recognize you more from Insta. Instagram. Yeah, and Carrie, 
Carrie is on Instagram Hi, at Food Sparks. Yep. And she has a blog, foodsparks.blogspot. Oh, God, I never, I never updated. Don't go there. But you can still follow it. Yeah, it's true. And, and the more followers you get, the more you can listen to our own advice. So Carrie is also a PR person who does content and all of that. And she and I are the worst influencers ever. <laughs> Let me tell you guys about PR people. They're really good at telling other people's stories. But when it comes to ourselves, we're like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't you want know, to be we... in front of a camera. We're telling yeah. people, oh, it's great. Get in front of the camera. And then you put a camera. Granted, with me, you put a camera on me. And at first, I'm like, Ey. but then all of a sudden, it's a fucking 45-minute monologue. At least I got a guest this time. So- I mean, we spend all our time writing talking points for other people. But when it comes time to talk about our own shit... We have no structure around it. We just get on here like this and go Bleh, with a glass of wine. Well, I do have some structure. I started making it's true. notes because otherwise the PR, it the is. The PR it, people, it's we, can't, much, we can't nod. Uh, so. Way too much randomness. So yes. uh, you were telling me earlier that you're on airport rules at home. I mean, you know, wheels off, man. It's airport rules. It's not like the quarantine 15. Like, you, so here's my deal. So what I've just so the first week you're just like, eh, I don't know. And the I need to be so productive. I need to get on. Yeah. That. And you're like, oh, I need to learn another language. Oh, yeah, I need everything to is just, that yeah. And then you're trying to work. So then you get in a flow with work and then you think, okay, I need to do something with my fat ass. Like, what am I doing? So I'm, I'm the kind of girl, I'm a big girl, but I like, I work out. I, I'm used to doing five spin classes a week and that is just gone. So, but what I, I want to be active and I want to have some things that, that make me feel good. But these people out here doing the absolute most, Posting their lists every day with the burpees and the jumping jacks. And, you know, I did two yoga online yoga classes today in a Pilates. Well, good for you. Well, we got on here. The kids also, we got the parents who are like, oh, my kids, my kids learned yeah. Mandarin today. And I'm like, I'm you. here to tell you. I'm like, my kids may have eaten a Mandarin orange today. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I agree with Cooper. I've been listening to him on these, these videos saying, you know, if you, if you didn't accomplish murder, suicide today, then you're winning. So take it from a single girl. Okay, because I'm like, I see this shit and I, and I do want to be active. So what I've what I've done for myself is to give myself my daily three. So I'm like, if I do these daily three things, no. then I feel like, you know, anything else beyond that is a, you know, attaboy, good on you. Because so for me, it's in the morning when I get up, I immediately put on my leggings, my sports bra, my shirt, whatever I need to do to take a walk that day. My friend Pam and I that I mentioned, the only ones talking to each other are doing a daily three mile walk. And that's so every funny. day we try to do that. It might not happen every day because the work might be a shit show, but that's the one thing for activity and fresh air just to get the hell out of the house. Okay. So that's my one daily, Is that one put on my clothes, right do the walk. And then I try to clean my sink and put away dirty dishes before I go to bed every night. Cause I feel like that's if I good. walk into a clean kitchen every day, that's my thing. So that, those are my three things that I just have said, if you can do this every day, you know, and I try not to eat, I'm eating whatever, but I also do intermittent fasting. So as long as I stick to my intermittent fasting, then I feel like I'm not going crazy. But uh, those are the three. I said, you can have three things and that's it. Don't kill yourself over this. And don't watch everybody else's shit and think you have to be the same way. What are your quarantine cravings? Oh, my God. I'm not even nice. Quarantine cravings. That's a good throwback right there. Um. So I'm not even an ice hair. cream person, oh, but I, I had some like ice hair. cream at the beginning. It doesn't look good. No. I've had some ice cream at the beginning of the quarantine. And when it was gone, I was like, okay, that's it. Because I don't normally buy, buy and keep ice cream. But the last two days, I've been like, I want some effing ice cream, man. Like, I really, I don't okay. even know what it is. It's like you just want to scoop at the end of the night to just sit on your couch and let, you know, the stupid Bravo TV wash over you while you're eating the ice cream. One, two. So ice cream, I want to make Rice Krispie treats. I don't know why. And Jolly Ranchers. There's Jolly Ranchers at my office, and I can't go get them. So I'm like. So that's my. It, so people are making things. I think we're trying to make things that bring us back to like our youth. And I think comfort. so. Uh, yeah. I have made. So last night. So I have made the mistake, and I'm afraid it's going to stick of introducing Hamburger Helper to the Koch household. Yeah. I know. You last did tell me. You didn't the, you make a tuna the, helper too last week? Yes. Yeah. And we made the deluxe. Uh, mm. Stroganoff last be stroganoff last night. So, and the kids are like, yes, all of this. Can I'm I like, give- I can make this like from scratch. I'm sure there's an Ina Garten recipe. And they're like, no. So I do something I She's call a- I call bougie box. Have you seen me talk about this on Instagram? Uh-huh. I, yeah. So I love Kraft Mac and Cheese. I'm sorry if I'm ever sad. Well, the blue box is the only one. Yeah, Everything only the blue box. Like, oh. Yeah. 
So I love it, but it does, yes. I grabbed two boxes March 20th when I first went to the grocery store during all this shit, and I've been, I've been you know, sparingly using them. But when I do what I call as a bougie box, I'll take something a box and I bougie it up. So I'll take the Kraft mac and cheese, I make it like it says on the directions, but I'll mm-hmm. reserve a little bit of the pasta water, and if you put a little bit more butter in there and the pasta water and the powdered cheese, and then half and half is your friend. So milk half goes half. bad yeah. faster. But half and half lasts like three or four weeks. So if you got half and half, just a splash of that, and then I will, I will make, because you're, you're the sauce is going farther. Like a quarter a cup of milk anyway, so you can put yeah, a quarter. Yeah, so yeah, half so you and can half, and you got an extra. Half, yeah, and it's richer. So because the sauce is richer, if you want to make more than what's in the box, actually add like maybe half a cup elbow macaroni, macaroni, yeah. or whatever you have to make it go farther. And then I stir in while it's hot. This suddenly sharp, feels like actual cooking. Yeah. Sharp cheddar cheese. I stir in while it's hot. And then I sprinkle cheese on the top, put the lid back on, and the residual heat, give it about 10 minutes, and it'll be all melty and gooey. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it's not box mac and cheese anymore. It's bougie. It's bougie box. Although, aren't you glad that if we're reverting, that we were raised white trash because we're reverting to, like, easy stuff that, that we can make easily? Yeah, I love like, white trash recipes. Uh, Anybody that follows me knows that. And my friend Brandy, one time when we were on a trip and we made a bunch of white trash stuff, and I was like, you know what? Why, why does it always work? Why wouldn't you have a thing of Cool Whip, a thing of cream of chicken, you know, a thing of cream cheese? And, you know, there's, like, five main ingredients. So you got them. You've got a white trash recipe. Uh-huh, and, my, and my friend Brandy goes, I go, they always work. And she goes, white trash don't like surprises. And that has <laughs> stuck with me for years. <laughs> I go, why do they recipes always work if you've got one of those five things? Yeah. She's like, white trash don't like surprises. They like, don't like surprises. And I was like, this is true. Oh. And this is, yeah, this is where I excel. The ham ball I make for Todd every oh year. My God. That's a white trash so recipe. I, you know, I joke that I worry that Todd has, has a thing for trashy people. Because, I mean, obviously. But, I, I mean, I've classed it up. So I'm kind of worried that he's like moving on because like I'm not trashy enough anymore because he wants your fucking handball every time that you make it. He loves any time. Well, he didn't like the hamburger helper. I think that's a little uh, that crosses the line. Yeah. Um, but he that f- fucking Tiger King show, which I hated. I hated it. <laughs> did you it. watch it? You said you weren't going to. Did you I watch did. It? I ended up so, ta- so this is the thing. So I said, oh, because I was going to watch two episodes. I got yeah. I watched two episodes. Suddenly Todd's like, this is my favorite show ever. And so he's watching the rest of it, and I don't. I, and I'm kind of flitting in and out of the room, giving it an eye. And there were parts of it that were interesting. It was kind of a very Dateline NBC, but that whole um, no. And, and I felt bad for your people because Carrie's oh. from Oklahoma. Although I think he's actually from Texas because I saw that he used to live in Arlington here originally. Yeah, yeah. but they they've always been in yeah. Oklahoma. Mark, my friend Mark, my bestie, my best my best gay from high school. He and I had always heard about this guy. And while we were in college, we always said we were going to go, and we never did. did. And so really? I keep hearing all the people talk about – Mark sent me the, the show before, like uh-huh. right when everyone started talking about it. He's like, girl, it's a gay guy from Oklahoma with tigers. We've got to watch. And go. And, and I kept hearing all of the people go, this show is so funny. And then I watched it, and I go, this shit isn't funny. I grew up with this shit. I lived this. This is not funny. Like, to me, it's not funny. This is what funny. I moved away from yes, because I didn't Mark, like it. Mark's texting me. He's like, this shit isn't funny. I go, no, I thought it was going to be hilarious. And this is like 48 hours in a tire cage. What <laughs> is this shit? You know, and Mark was like, oh, we knew every one of those guys. We went to high school with them. People oh. look just like them. So I was like, oh, people think it's funny because they think, oh, these guys are real characters. No, people. That's what Oklahoma is like. Grew up there. Like, I was like, I'm not finding the humor. Like, this is just... My friend Eric Johnson's watching, and he says he loves manwich. Manwich, there's a yes. Manwich, but yes. it's not as good as the actual manwich. But yes. the, um, but Eric is from Iowa, and so Iowa is one of those states that normally is a kind of sane place. But lately, I make fun of him about that too, because like the governor of Iowa, just just they're not on lockdown. They are one of the I like know. six hold down out states, maybe eight that has not done it. And the governor came out yesterday or two days ago and she said, well, because uh, they were talking about all the other states. She's like, well, maybe they don't have all the facts. Um, 42 <laughs> other states have done this. And you think that they're the ones that don't have the facts. Like, OK, oh, OK, the uh, intellectual elite of, of Iowa. Well, maybe they're just all standing out there in the cornfield six feet yeah. apart. <laughs> Is the, yeah. 
or maybe there's not enough people there that they just they're socially isolated as it is so Maybe like um, you know, people places like North Dakota and South Dakota, they're like, we're covered in snow and literally no one's talking to anybody. I think we're okay. Like, we've been training for this for generations. Yeah. Like, this is we do life. this every winter. Welcome, the rest of the nation. Welcome. <laughs> you people are stupid. Angela is saying, your people, that's what everyone yeah. calls folks from Oklahoma to me, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yes. Angela, are you from Oklahoma? Oh, yeah, it's Angela Holcomb. It's my Angela. Yeah. Hi, Angela. Yeah, I just looked at the last name. I just heard him say Angela. She um, Angela knows. She knows. She's who you met at my birthday party, Cooper. Yes, okay. With the yeah. with the uh, dark uh, brown hair. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. she knows. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Angela, you watch Tiger King, and you tell me if you think that shit's funny. It's right. not. It's what we grew up with. Speaking of country, you know, yesterday I was yelling at my daughter to find this photo of me with a cowboy hat on <laughs> and my hair. Look at that cute, cute boy. That's the cover of the Carnes County News. My grandmother sent this to me. Carnes County News. We used to live in a town called Rungi, which I looked it up today, has a population of 1,092 in the 2017 census. Jeez. And the, 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 uh, this was the cover of the newspaper from Wednesday, February 25th, 1981. So what's the math on that? 81. That's 40, such a good 40, year. Almost 40 fucking years old. This newspaper was six pages. Um, but it says, happy visitor at the Rungi Stock Show and Sale. And look, it is so cute. That was the beginning of my local celebrity dumb. Look at that. I got that the Mickey. That is so I cute. Mickey. I mean, how fucking American is this? Mickey Coca-Cola, Mickey Mouse. That's a United Way pin, which I believe was covering up a hole in that hat, actually. We didn't have a lot of money back then, but... The only um, thing you're missing, if you're from Oklahoma, is a 4-H clover. You see my, my chili bowl haircut in that? And my hair was actually naturally blonde back then. My mom is to thank for that. Look at that. What a gem. Un, uh, non-straight haircut. But yeah, you're, you're just missing, so missing a 4-H I mean, clover or an FHA pin. You'd be from Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so Eric cute. says, as a native uh, Iowan, I'm embarrassed these days. I saw a woman that I knew in college who had pictures on her Facebook of kids with the Easter bunny last night. I asked her if she heard of social distancing. <laughs> well, Eric, how can you possibly take away Easter oh my at a time like this? So they're still going to... So first of all, they're still hosting the fucking Easter bunny. Yeah, first problem. <laughs> Second, Second problem, some jackal up. signed up to be Easter bunny. <laughs> Happy COVID, dude, in the next couple of weeks. Under it, You're welcome. <laughs> Three people lined up in a line with a sweaty, stinky kids <laughs> waiting on the goddamn Easter Bunny. No. no. Uh-uh. No. Not me. So one of the things that I joke is that we just went and saw Oprah recently together. It was life-changing, inspiring for me. You have not picked up the book since. <laughs> the um, And I joke that you're the Gail to my Oprah and that Oprah always says that she has JOMO, the joy of missing out, and that Gail has FOMO, the fear of missing out. You yes. go to more things than anyone I know. You are in the know about every restaurant. You are in the know about the style and the trends and all that stuff. Anyone who thinks that I'm trendy, give Carrie half the credit for it because she probably <laughs> is the one who told me about it in the first place. I, on the other hand, I roll into my house, and I'm like, this and get the fuck out. Like, I just, <laughs> like, just stay home. I don't even want to be invited to stuff anymore. There's so much joy in, in missing out. So Well, there's, and, the, and it's true. I do have FOMO sometimes, but um, I tell people a lot too. I really just follow a lot on Instagram. It's like people think, people ask Angela, people back home in Oklahoma think I go to all these things. Like when I post about a restaurant or mm -hmm. I go and do all these things. I'm like, no, I'm just watching the kids on the gram. I'm just watching on the these gram. kids. On Courtney the gram. Kerr. We love Courtney. I have your her. life is Courtney Kerr, and I'm about to buy a QVC diamond ring because of her, because you bought one. Yeah. Watch me is because you bought one from her. Yeah. All that. Yeah. Uh huh. She's pretty cool. Uh -huh. I like her. I do too. She's really funny. I like her personality. I think she's hilarious. Currently, K E R R E N T L Y, yeah. I believe it's her handle on most of the channels. So, yeah, she's a local girl things, here. Yeah. One of the things I wanted to talk to you about, because I actually don't do this a lot, but the um you seem to be on like zoom meetings and stuff all the time right now yeah during microsoft quarantine. teams and yeah stuff like that. yeah so and i know todd is a lot too but one of the things that cracks me up in the few times that i have been on it i am so distracted by bad interior design 
Like I'm on these, I'm sitting in front of a blue wall because I don't want y'all seeing shit right now. <laughs> like, and, uh, but like I see this and I'm, I'm like talking to a client and I'm so distracted by, oh my God, you're one of those people who has a live, laugh, love forever sign in the background. <laughs> or the or, shit like, people keep on the countertop when they know it's behind them. <laughs> you're like, I mean, stacks of paper and just, just, An old lunchable package. It's and, a small window. Just move that shit out of the way. Like, and, and okay, so girls, Cooper, you don't know this, but girls do this. I'm sure guys do, but more so girls that have been online dating. Oh, we've been doing this for years because of a dude posts a picture. We'll look at your face. We'll look at your physique. We'll decide right then. Are we interested? Uh -huh. If we swipe right, the next thing we're going to do is really zoom in on all those photos and look at all the shit in your mm -hmm. house. How nasty are his sheets? Or oh, it, oh, first of all, if I see someone post in their kitchen or their living room and I see a wall outlet that has like three phone chargers plugged into it with a multi-plug and some other shit, I'm out. You're messy. I'm out. Like, no. Or, and then they do the post the bathroom selfie with the toilet and the shower rod above them. I'm like, if you don't have a friend, A, to take a picture for you, and two, you think this is a good idea, and you've got splattered toothpaste on the mirror, I'm out. No, uh-uh. No. No, no, I don't need to see your toilet, your toothpaste flicks, and your shower curtain rod. No. So there, there used to be, I don't know if it still exists, but there used to be, it was like a video series or memes or a, a blog. I think it was a blog, actually, that its specialty was it looked at porn movies. And but completely, completely ignored the fact that it was porn and just analyzed the interior design and the backgrounds. And you know, that's what? awesome. The few times I've watched those movies, I am very, very cognizant of like, it's like, huh, I wonder why they picked that sofa. Okay, so like, you <laughs> like that was great. Like, you can't really clean that out. I mean, microfiber would have been a better choice than velvet. Like, <laughs> so this is probably a topic you didn't expect this to go down, but let's talk about porn. My, my annoying thing in porn is when women or men leave their socks on. Oh my God. What are you doing? Dirty feet, dirty feet also. Oh, like yeah. the bottom of the feet. I'm like, no. Oh, oh no. And I'm, and, and sometimes I've seen it where there's like a, a charge cord for like the phone. Like her, the girl's knee is on it, uh -huh. you know, it's in the shot. I'm like, and there's some CDs on the bed or DVDs. I'm like, what, what are we doing? Did you all Fine. of a sudden go, you know what? I'm spontaneous. Let's have sex right now. Wait a second. Let's shoot it for porn. <laughs> exactly. No. The, uh, and by the way, before anyone starts being like clutching pearls and shit, we I watch know porn. There, there are two types of people in this world. People who watch porn and liars. <laughs> As for damn sure. <sighs> Just this week, I taught somebody how to look up porn in Google. I was like, you know to use your incognito browser, right? And they were like, what? And I had to send them a little a video of like, here's your settings. Here's oh, what because you do. he said magazine and the stuff that we write about. And I checked the links and stuff. Oh, Google probably thinks that I am a twisted ass person. Well, I am. But like <laughs> they like they they know some deep shit, right? Um, yeah. That's your, that's your tip today, people. Incognito yeah. browser when you watch Incognito. porn. Incognito. I don't know how to do that myself. I actually just whatever. But what? I Easy. know. I know. You so. just pull up like you're going to pull up a tab, and then you hit the little guy that has the binoculars at the top. You hit that, and it pulls it up in a black browser, and that's how you know you're in incognito mode. Why's it going to be black? Because it's incognito, and it's oh. in. It's oh, on the. Okay. It's on the dark web. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, anyway, well, that, do you have anything else? That's all I got. We We're covered, 30 we covered porn and groceries, so we covered being young and old. <laughs> old people having sex. Old people talking about groceries, porn. Um, Anna, uh, Leslie is saying that she liked the guy who analyzed the contents of people's refrigerators. That was my friend Joel, oh, actually. I love that, Leslie. Yeah, I, actually, is I know there, that. Is he on Instagram? Because I will follow that account. Well, I love when people to, do that. He used to do actual like, TV segments and stuff and blogs. It was really hilarious. There used to be a magazine. I think it was Rachel Ray back in the day when she first launched. The back page. of You know how um, mm -hmm. uh, Bon Appetit does back of the napkin? And yep. they would do a sketch. They don't do it anymore, but they used to do that. Um, but, but I think it was Rachel Ray at the back. She would have a photo with the doors open of a famous person's fridge 
and you got to see how they organize. Oh, that tells you everything you need to oh. know, especially as a girl, if you're dating, like when you walk into an apartment, if it's clean, you're like, if I walk into a dirty apartment, I'm like, I'm out. Like you no, no we got this far, but I'm out. But if your fridge is. Well, you have to give some people a pass after this quarantine shit Maybe. though. Cause like we don't have a housekeeper right now. We just keep moving from room to room. As one room just becomes too disgusting to live in, we just shut the door and move to a different room. The the, the slime and the and not slime stickiness. And just, but you got time uh, to clean if you're single, though. If you got kids, I get it. I get it. Like well, Cooper said, if you've got kids, it's just not, amazing. You get up every day because I don't have the time. I don't clean because I don't want to. <laughs> so you're not sneaking like Pam and I have just discussed it, and we we're sneaking our house cleaner in on Saturday to do both of our units. See, this is the thing. You say you're all quarantined, and then you're bringing. So in- we're not going to stay with her. We're going to let her do one, and when she leaves that one and goes to the other, we'll switch. But we're going to soak down. She's cleaning with cleaning supplies the whole time. I guess. But we're also going to uh, go in and spray the whole unit down with Lysol and let it sit for five okay. minutes. Okay. We got it worked out because I can't give up my house cleaner. I'm sorry. I don't want to clean this shit on I my know. own. And I live I by myself. I don't want to do it. So you, you people that have kids, I feel for you. No. My bed looks like a dorm. Like like <laughs> the sheets haven't been put on. the. I mean, they're on the bed, but the, the, the corner's the, off. <laughs> in, in, the, in the middle of the night, I'm like fucking corner of the sheet and putting it back on. There's a like, hot pocket wrapped up in the comforter. It's I, fine. We do, not, we do not allow food upstairs in the house. So, yes. Okay. Um, I well, and that's a rule for a reason. <laughs> hey, again, there's no judgments in quarantine. Ye- yesterday, oh, Eric- I fixed myself a grilled cheese, and I had some a hot Cheeto popcorn to go with it. Yeah, I- um, Eric is saying Big Edie and Little Edie just moved from room to room in Grey Gardens. Again, I referenced that movie the other day. Love True. that movie, and I am terrified that that is what we are the the path that we are going down. If I can't get some fucking Amazon delivery or Tom Thumb delivery in the next few days, I may be busting out some cat food for the kids. <laughs> hey, we oh, missed, it's just we it's missed Tarka's comment. It'll make, your, it'll make your hair. We missed Tarka's comment. She said she, they're baking more than usual in comfort food. I'm down for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's my cousin. I'm baking. Tarka. I bake like cookies or like banana bread or pumpkin bread every Sunday. Baking's kind of like for me stress relief, but. I'm also running it by and dropping it at the building just down the way where my boss lives. And then she takes a loaf to my CEO the next day when we shoot these different videos. And I'm like, what? that's job security, people. Bacon mm-hmm. bread. Job Bake security. that bread. Bake that bread. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about catering Easter because I just, I'm so sick oh, of Oh, you talked about that ADHD. yesterday. Yeah, um, I don't know what we're doing yet. That sounds good. And it sounds like a deal for four people. I mean, I know. Well, but, but, when you're married to my husband, it's like, oh, let's do this. Oh, that sounds great. What about this one? No. What about this one? No. What about this one? No. Well, what do you want? Oh, I'm up for anything. <laughs> but are so you my, really? Yeah, that was my conversation last night. So. Well, sort of fried chicken. And when everyone complained, you can go, well, I tried. Uh, do you know what KFC has an app now and you can pre-order and pick it up or call in? I saw that on TV. People need their fried chicken. I love some KFC. They're smart. The comfort food in these days, you know, they know mm-hmm. people are going to. That's when Chipotle, Chipotle launched their online delivery the minute this happened. That, I haven't had it yet, but I miss Chipotle a lot. Yeah, I do like Chipotle. I think that's probably part of the reason why I've lost so much weight. We have not actually been eating out or even being doing takeout. I've bought I know, some, right? I bought some gift cards from restaurants, but... This one is, I mean, my car, I got in it today and went ran by my office to make sure the plants were watered and it said battery low because I haven't driven my car in so long. The battery was starting to die. Yeah. So. Yeah. I've only been in my car twice. It's just to go right down the block and drop treats and that was it. Yeah. So. So yeah, crazy times. So anyway, well, thank Thanks everybody for commenting thanks, and thanks Cooper, for, for allowing me to, to crash your, your alive for a day. Yeah. May, so maybe we'll have you on again soon, and you'll probably okay. be wearing the exact same thing. I will. Because we'll still I be in will. quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do. I tell my team. I said, I do wear clothes, but then I sit here in my air conditioning, which I want on because it's effing hot. But I'm yeah. cold, so I just throw the sweatshirt on. It sits on the back of my office chair, and I just throw it on every time. So it looks like I'm wearing we, the same damn thing every day. We can't figure out our air conditioning in this house because it keeps reverting to daytime settings, and we're not obviously leaving the house in the daytime. And yeah. it's so like technologically simple that we can't figure it out. So, anyway. <laughs> um, okay. Well, with that, 
as I say all the time, y'all, I love you. I want you to know that you're loved. And I love that you watch this. It's cheaper than therapy. Thank you, Carrie, for joining. It was it's wonderful true. that added therapy today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow at 415. And that'll be it for the week because Friday is good Friday. Let's make it great Friday, okay? That's awesome. And I won't say bye. And this is Carrie's favorite part where I look for the button on how to end this. So because, it's there. Actually, I don't know because this is a new platform and they moved it. So, okay. Mine's in the top bye. right. Yeah, I think it's top left on mine. All righty. Bye. I love y'all. Thank you, Gary. Bye. Thank you.